Don't mock the afflicted. <laughs> God, we haven't really done. <laughs> yeah, I'm just scared to pick mine up at the minute. <laughs> Bonjour YouTube, Trev here, Summit or Nothing. Back again with Alan Metalman in the Lake District. We've brought ourselves to Grasmere now for a wild camp. You're gonna have to tell me again where it is, I keep forgetting. Eastdale Tarn. Eastdale Tarn. A wild camp at Eastdale Tarn. I knew that, you didn't have to be prompted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, looking forward to it. Lovely night for it as well. Yeah, so a two mile walk to get to our location. Eastdale Tarn. Up the Eastdale Road. Yeah, held and crag there. Right at the top is the lion and the lamb. The lion and the lamb. Yeah, that's like the famous Title for it, Helm Crag. Someone up there, I think. You're dancing. <laughs> so, we're out camping tonight. You can see on my backpack the yellow package in there. It's the Lantern. I'm bringing the Lantern 2 out. So, you can see uh, Alan and myself are completely overloaded. <laughs> I don't know how. I've, I left more stuff out this time than I think I ever have, and it still feels like I've got too much. But I've got an ultralight tent, so it does class as ultralight camping, all right? <laughs> <laughs> so that's where we're off, up there by the waterfall. Same look, yeah. That's the path. And then we're up in there somewhere. Certainly stunning. It's starting to cloud over a little bit now, so hopefully it's not going to rain before we get a chance to set up. I don't know what the weather's doing. I haven't dared look. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. This is stunning. We was up at that height earlier. It's good to finally get to see some more mountains because it's summit or nothing after all. It was getting a bit Dartmoor based. And then uh, now the climbing starts. Just where we've sat the field tired. <laughs> <laughs> more up. Start to feel the weight pulling us back. I've got to sort out what, why my pack always looks like it's spewing at the sides. You see other people going out, and they look like they've already got anything in their pack. And it looks like a really neat and tidy, like a demonstration pack in the shop, a display pack. And then me, as Burton Outdoors told me once before, I look, I look like a one-man band. I quite understand what he means. Flagging a bit. Can't wait to have something to eat. I did bring Tom's pizzas again to share with Alan. To show, but uh, I got to my, I stayed in the travel lodge on the way up last night. And when I got there, my wife had messaged and said, you've left your pizzas in the fridge. So luckily I got a ration pack that I got from a prepping company. A 24 hour ration pack that I bought when we went up the Brecon Beacons. And I haven't used it in 24 hours, but I've sort of picked at it and had different bits here and there. So I've got a meal from that tonight. All right. How are you finding the hills so far, Alan? Uh, it's a lot steeper since I came up here last time, I'm sure. Yeah, it, it feels a lot steeper with the yeah. pack. And we've been upheld down and all, so exactly. we've, we've done, done a, all right. We've done all right. We've done all right. Mm. So we're getting there now, Alan reckons it's just over the, the brow of that hill. We've just been uh, moseying on up, chatting away.
Here we are. At last. <laughs> I've made it. Good spot, Alan. Yeah. Just in time to go and find a spot to camp before the sun ducks away. I should have bought my fishing rod. Yeah. Fish in there. Yeah, I bet. I've seen people fishing there before. Gonna have a look over here, see if that's any good for camping. It looks like it's a bit sort of feathery, a bit marshy. Hopefully it's not too bad. It's a bit boggy here. I say boggy. It's nothing like Dartmoor. It's just a bit wet. Dartmoor, you'll be in it. Up to your waist. Bit squelchy underfoot. Seems good here, just by the water's edge. That bit there was a bit marshy. It's a bit more solid along here. If you found a patch like this on Dartmoor, you'd be happy. <laughs> oh, it's good to get the pack off. We're here, we're gonna set up and get some food in us. Oh, it's been a long time coming. So, I'm out again in the lantern, as I've said. Let's see if I can remember what I'm doing here. side two up it's looking a lot better than it has in the past so fingers crossed it's going all right how you doing Alan yeah, sussed it <laughs> inside out back to front <laughs> Turned out it was inside out. I was only joking. <laughs> <laughs> he just said, oh, hang on, it is. <laughs> yeah. I wonder how long it'll take you to realise. <laughs> I'm not too displeased with how that's turned out today. Usually a bit more of a ball ache, but that flew, flew up all right. So maybe I'm getting better with the lantern. Could become my tent of choice if it goes like that every time. Someone's tent over there, it all looks wrecked. There's a pair of shoes left there. Don't know if anyone's around. Whether they've ditched all that. Don't know. Well, it's, uh, it's still up here now. Well, first things first. Let's get a brew on. Or some dinner, or something. I'm hungry. This was all part of my 24 hour ration pack. Still got to yet do a video on it, but this is a uh, sweet and sour chicken with pasta. The boiling. Well, tea is cooked, I think. Shall. Yeah, these uh, the ration packs are really good. I know Tom from Off the Beaten Pot would be turning in his, well, not his graves, not the right word. I know he put the little sad face last time. Ration pack, mm, sad face. <laughs> oh, that does smell really handsome. Is it hot? Piping. Mm. That's been a long time coming. You like this, sir? Yeah. You don't mind me just. No, no, no. Plowing on with the food, I was absolutely, my stomach was hurting, I, I was that hungry. <laughs> well, there were some big, big chunks of chicken in this. And it is real, real chicken. So I'll put a link below to where you can get these. They had an offer on at the time. It was £10.50 for a ration pack, a random ration pack. So, or you pay a little bit extra and you can choose what you have in it. I just went for a random, but as far as boiling the bags go, this is a tasty one. It's like Master Chef over there. This is such an idyllic spot. It's 
what you need, isn't it? Someone to show you the ropes when you're coming around places like this. Showing you where to go. What's worth looking for. But look at it. Look how still it is. I cannot get enough of this, this landscape. It is amazing. And in this light as well, it's just like really, you know, moody clouds. Look, a location like this, just great. I'd love to come back here with the family again and get the kids up here. See, so having someone in the know who can show you about, isn't it? This is a lovely clear night, Alan, isn't it? Yeah. And we'll say it's like nearly oh, 11. Yeah, well, 10 to 11, and uh, it's still late. Late enough to stand around looking at the views and that like. It's so yeah. still at the moment. Hopefully, it'll keep up. But when I left home, I had a last look and it said it was going to be uh, sort of like a nice, quiet, still night. So uh, that'll yeah. do for me. Yeah. My very first wild camp, I was spoiled. It was a perfect night, perfect sunrise. I watched the sun come up over the, the ridge, the mist come in. And it, it, it spoiled us in a way because they, it set a sort of benchmark. Yeah. And I was thinking like, well, I want everyone to be like this. And obviously we all know yeah, that everyone's not. not like that. <laughs> the viewers don't want us to have <laughs> no, like no. that. Yeah. They want us to have uh, torrential rain, yeah. gale force winds, <laughs> and struggle. Uh, six foot of snow. Yeah. That, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do remember that video. That was yeah. a really good video. That. Yeah. Do you know what time the sun rises tomorrow then? Or? I think it's 10 to 5, I think. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. It's set over there, so it should be rising over there somewhere. Yeah. That, that sky's clearing, isn't it? It almost looks like day, doesn't it? It's my own for the night. It's all right. It's quite a roomy little tent, no lantern. Quite bright inside. Got pockets at either end to keep me gear in. Got hooks both sides to keep the lights hanging up. It's all right. Settling down for bed now. Oh no! That didn't sound good. It's my inflatable pillow. I was just going to start talking about my inflatable pillow. It's got a bloody hole in it. I can't believe that. My favourite pillow. Right, I'm going to have to try and make a pillow out of something. Use my sleeping bag. Bag, perhaps. Take it inside out so I don't get the straps. Take the uh, jacket off. Tuck that in there. There, makeshift pillow. Oh, it's half four. Oh, I slept like a log. Poor old Alan says he hasn't slept at all. He says there was a duck out here outside about 45 minutes ago, cracking his head off. He says he's right outside the tent. I didn't even hear that. I slept through that. There's a moody old sky out there. But a really nice spot. Nice to wake up and look out there. Yeah, it looks like this has just got left here, but all this, look. Isn't that a shame? It's just dumped stuff. Fucking old bottles everywhere, rubbish. What part of leave no trace do people not understand, dickheads? They've dug a big hole in the ground. Let's make a fire pit. And they haven't bothered burying it. They've 
there's shit everywhere. What pricks. I can gloves on and just empty everything into the tent at least. Oh my god. There's only loads of rubbish in there. Bloody needles, look. dug holes just everywhere there's holes if you bring it all down just take it back you f***ing assholes I'm worried about what you're going to find underneath stuff here it's heartbreaking isn't it Get a brew on and forget about it. Watch your sun come up. Oh, that lake looks looks like a mirror in there. It's hardly a ripple on it. It's a really idyllic spot. Yeah, if we sad to leave. Won't take long to pack this down now. Yeah, every time I get out, I think that'll never ever fit in there. Yeah. And every time you do, you stuff it in. And then it's amazing, it isn't it? Down. I, for years I was rolling them up and it's yeah. so awkward. Yeah. But yeah, just shove it in. Yeah. Easy. So I've unpegged all the corners. Now I'll just take the poles out and shove it away in that bag. The inner and the outer is already clipped together. You don't have to touch that. Take them out like that. Just keep shoving it down. Both skins come together. Ram it in there. Felt like there was loads of room in this tent last night. Yeah. <laughs> and there you are, packed. Oh, I forgot to put my pegs in, and I bugger. It's <laughs> alright, almost packed. Use your filled up your soya? Yeah, first time used yeah. it, just got it last week. Yeah. So I thought I'd better use it, otherwise uh, Mrs. Metal will be saying, typical of you, not using it, all the gear, and no idea. Yeah. So I'm determined to use it. One last look around the town before we leave. All packed up. Where did it go? Look, and look, this is how you leave no trace. Yeah. Well, there we are, all packed up. Thank you, Alan, for introducing us to Easdale Tarn. Yeah. Beautiful place. Yeah. And not that far to walk, really, although we, we thought it was a bit further last night. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was a God. bit of a hard stomp up there. <laughs> but yeah, what an idyllic little spot this yeah. has been. Lovely. All we're missing was a sunrise. Yeah. But you can't cloudy, have everything, but and I'm happy no. with what we have had. Really That's enjoyed it. Good company. Yeah. And a good laugh, like, and all. It was good. Yeah. Cracking. So, but the day's not over yet. No, no. Gonna go and get what breakfast, and then uh, yeah, one more little adventure. That'll be a fun-filled weekend. Yeah. So, and we've got to walk down yet, anyway. Yeah. <laughs>